Good morning, happy Sunday, happy Palm Sunday. Today is one of the major feasts of the church. There are seven major feasts for the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Palm Sunday is one of the seven feasts. I want you please to pay attention to the details because I'm going to ask you about the details. Today, we are celebrating one of the seven major feasts. We like to understand what happened and we learn a couple lessons from what happened. There are three things here. The first thing that the Lord Christ was serving the whole community. He was teaching them, he was healing them, and he even created eyes for the man who was born blind, and he raised the Lazarus from the dead after four days. So the Lord Christ went around in full mercy and in full power to do so many miracles around, including creation of food, because he gave multitude 5,000 people and he fed them from five loaves and two fish. And after he did all this, the disciples came to him and said, just to get out of here, because King Herod would like to kill you. Can you imagine the Lord Christ, how awesome, how kind, how powerful, but King Herod wanted to kill you, so move out of here. But the Lord Christ said, no, I am not moving out of here at all, because King Herod cannot hurt the Lord Christ. Nobody can hurt the Lord Christ. He is God. Nobody can hurt God whatsoever. And he was not afraid at all from them. And then, instead of fleeing away to leave the city, away from King Herod, he prepared a party for himself. Where is the picture? The Lord Christ, instead of running away, being afraid from King Herod, he prepared a party for himself. And this is the celebration of the feast today. Celebration of the so-called Palm Sunday. Come here in the middle, please. And the Lord Christ prepared for himself. Like, suppose you were celebrating your birthday. You prepare things. You get the cake. Uh, your mom and dad gives you gifts. And so on and so forth. You decorate the house. The Lord Christ prepared for himself an excellent reception as he entered Jerusalem. To the extent you can see in the picture that some people actually took their clothes off and they put their clothes on the floor. And some people called palms and they were waving with their palms, just exactly as we are waving with the palms. And they were singing for him. They, so, they sang for him beautiful hymns. What a party, what a party. He entered riding a small donkey. A small donkey. It was known at this time, if he entered the city riding a horse, a horse is big, right? If he entered riding a horse, it means he is coming for war or coming for trouble. But he was riding a small donkey. And he was the one who led his disciples. And he said to them, go to this person and tell him the Lord needs your donkey. And he will get you the donkey back. So he arranged it for it. He said, go to this person and said, I'm going to get your colt or your donkey. And I will give it back. And so even the donkey that he was riding was borrowed from someone. And people put their clothes on the floor. And people were singing for him a very amazing song. And this is why he made for himself a party. Right? So the first part, we cover two parts. The first part, the Lord Christ performed huge amount of miracles beyond our imagination, including raising Lazarus from the dead. And then the second thing, he, he knew what he was doing. 
So they wanted to scare him to say, get out of here because King Herod would like to kill. But he taught us that we have to know what we're doing. We don't proceed in life without knowing what we're doing. And the Lord Christ knew what he was doing, right? And they made a party for him over there. And the third part of my little talk here, we ask the Lord, as you arranged a party for yourself, we want you to arrange our life. We tell him, as you prepared the donkey, as you gave a nice song to the people to sing for you, as they received you in this marvelous way, we like you to arrange our life, to prepare our life, to prepare our education, to prepare our spiritual, uh, spiritual life. We want you to arrange it, not us. Because if we arrange it for ourselves, it's going to be so weak. But we want the Lord to arrange it for us as he arranged it for himself, the party. And this is the celebration today. Palm Sunday is a celebration for the party that the Lord arranged it for himself. Now, and the people were singing this song. I will just sing a little part of it. And it goes like this. Hosanna khenni et shosi fai beb oro em besara il efes maro o tenje fi es neo khenefran em eb shoi sente nigom. He who is above the cherubim. Today appeared in Jerusalem with great glory, riding a colt surrounded by the ranks of the angels. On the way they spread garments. You can see here, in the way they spread garments on the floor. From the trees they cut branches with joy and praise they did sing Hosanna to the son of David. We see the big party that he prepared for himself. This is what we're, prepare, we're praying today. This is what we are celebrating today and we're asking him to arrange our life. We are asking him as he prepared for himself, he prepares for us as well. Question time, question time, and prizes as well. What is the name of the feast that we are celebrating today? Name of the feast, yes? Palm Sunday. And this feast is one of how many feasts we celebrate for the Lord Christ, yes? Seven, Seven feasts for the Lord Christ, exactly. And we said, there were three parts to the talk today. The first part was about what the Lord Christ did. What, what, give me some of the miracles that he did. What did he do? The Lord Christ, yes. Bravo Aleik. She said he fed 5,000 people from five loaves. That's a huge miracle. And what, did he raise anybody from the dead? Did he raise? Yes. No, he didn't? No, he did. Hmm. Yes. He did. Whom did he raise after being, after being dead for four days? After four days, huh? yes? Lazarus. Lazarus, exactly. Lazarus. And he did so many miracles, but they said to him, flee out of here. Get out of here, because who wanted to kill him? What is the name of the king who wanted to kill him? Yes. Bravo, Alek. King Herod. But of course he can't kill him. Of course, he cannot hurt him. And instead of fleeing away, what did he do for himself today that we're celebrating? What did he prepare today? What did he prepare? Yes. Exactly, he prepared the party. Bravo Alek, he prepared a party. And this is what's celebrating today because it is announcement that he is the savior, son of God, and who could not be defeated at all. And what are we asking him to do for us today? Huh? I will give you two pictures for that. What are we asking him to do for us today? Hmm. Yes. To, to save us? To save us? No, but I said, yes, exactly, to save us. But I said, he prepared a party for himself at that day. What do you want us? What do you want him to do for us today? Yes.
Exactly. He, she said it to, to a great extent. She said, we want him to prepare our life, not us. Not us, because if we prepared our life, it's going to be so weak. But we want him, we want him to say, come, come and help our life and arrange it. Arrange our health, arrange our education, arrange when, you grow, when we grow up, arrange it for us as you arrange it for yourself what? What did he arrange for himself today? What did he arrange for himself today? Yes, party, exactly. Khadi, surah ta'ati. Ain't he, he arranged for himself a big party with all the scenes in it. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. I want one of the head deacons, please, to prepare to, to uh, give the pictures out and a bookmark as well. Thank you very much. Happy Palm Sunday, everyone.